Hello beautiful people. So today is going to be more of a sit down and talk video rather than my usual running around and doing things videos. Um, I want to talk about something that's really important to me. Um, I'm going to be putting some photos up here to keep it interesting so that you're not looking at my face the whole time even though this is a great fit and you should really appreciate it. I really hope this is in focus too because that's my, my biggest downfall as a person filming myself. And we're going to stay hydrated because this is important on this channel. So today I want to talk about how I stopped caring what people thought about me basically. Um, as a trans person, passing is one of the things that I get super caught up in and it's really held me back for a long time from like expressing my personal style and like just wearing what I want and I think that what you wear is such a nice way to like reflect who you are and what you want to send out into this world and it also just like makes you happy like I love dressing up I love looking cute like it's just it's really important um, so we're gonna go through some outfits and some looks that I have had over the years and some different hair um yeah let's let's get started uh with the first picture and i'm just gonna give background as we go okay so i'm gonna be looking at my computer down here so if you're wondering why i'm staring off into space that's why um okay so this is the first photo this is from like 2014 i think i had just come out and before coming out as trans, I think people were like a little bit surprised with me coming out because I was like quite a, I don't want to say like girly girl, but like I really cared about my appearance a lot. I wore makeup, I wore dresses, I was really into like fashion and thrifting and buying cool stuff that I liked and you know, like I was always a little bit more towards that than like other people in my family and stuff and that was fun. For about a year before I came out I was going back and forth between like being super femme and being a little bit more masculine like towards like what people thought maybe like a butch lesbian would dress like. Um, so I started like finding some days which was like the most dangerous like sports bra combinations that you could ever think of um and then just like wearing the classic trans guy button down shirt and like i i did cut my hair short too so that was a big like transformative moment for me but then other days i would wear dresses and skirts and like tons of makeup and like try to make myself look really femme so it was definitely a flip in between and then i came out and i had no idea how to dress myself and how to dress myself in a way that i liked also like binding it's really hard i didn't have a proper binder when i first came out so it's really hard to like dress yourself in a way that covers your chest especially because like mine was quite big so it was like i'd have to wear like multiple layers of sweaters so like the fashion is out the window at this point i was just following that like standard trans guy like passing tip fashion that was like wear a really big top and tight jeans so this is a photo of that. I remember this fleece quite distinctly. I wore it a lot and um, it was definitely from Goodwill. So yeah, I also just realized you can see my little hair product in the background which was like quite reflective because I did still put a lot of effort into like my face and my hair but like just clothes wise I had no idea what to wear. And then we've got the second one here. So this was actually after I had shaved my head, so <laughs> I had like a bit of a breakdown one day and my parents were out and I just like took my dad's clippers and shaved my hair off, which I'd never done before and I was like, oh my god, I look terrible, but you know what, it, it, it kind of worked at the time and I kept it up for a couple, like almost a year I think I had a shaved head because it made me look more masculine. Like when people saw a shaved head, they were right away like, okay, that's maybe not a girl, I don't know. Um, I really didn't pass it this time, like at all. It was so like, school was so traumatizing, uh, especially for, I started a new school when I, um, when I first came out. Like I came out in, when I was 16, uh, in grade 11. So I transferred high schools like 
midway through my high school experience um, to go to like this different, more alternative school, but it wasn't any better. Like, I remember introducing myself to new students and teachers and stuff, and like they immediately started referring to me as she. Um, they thought my name was Leah. <laughs> it was just like, it was a disaster. And then I remember this specific exercise. It was like a get to know you where we had to make like a quiz of uh, like how to divide people in the class, which was, <laughs> this probably wouldn't go over in 2021, <laughs> but we had to like, you know, like do they have long hair, yes or no, and then it was like to find a specific student. And I remember just like, it was kind of a funny moment because like half the class categorized me as a female and half as a male. <laughs> so I'd be like, is, are they a girl or are they a boy? And I was like, I never know because I don't know if anyone knows what I am here. <laughs> so yeah, this was a post thrifting photo for sure. I remember I got this Magic School Bus t-shirt that I wore all the time because it was really big and it was made out of like really sturdy material so it fit well over my binder. Um, yeah, I just kind of look like a sad boy, uh, pretty like emblematic of that year, which was like 2015, 2016. Okay, here's my next one, also probably from 2015. Um, growing out my shaved hair a little bit, but it's still really, really short. I do remember buying these overalls, these were like my first like fashion purchase post coming out. Um, they weren't just like, hide my body. And I really liked them. They were like full length overalls. They were super cute. I actually cut them into shorts, which I kind of regret, but I still have them because they're good overalls. Um, and yeah, lots of filters on this one. Also, I was definitely listening to Sufjan and Steven's like, um, Predatory Wasp of the Palisades or something. I was just like obsessed. I like only listened to Sufjan and Steven's. Um, Okay, and then this is the next one. So this is of summer 2016. I had just started testosterone. So this was like really big for me. Obviously there weren't any big changes happening here. Um, but I, I felt different like inside, you know, as what's most important. Um, and I was feeling a little bit more confident. And I was also dating someone who had been transitioning longer than me and was more comfortable, like, um, playing with gender norms a little bit more. And that really, like, encouraged me to go out of my shell a bit and start wearing things that I wanted to wear. I remember, like, buying things, like, I bought one of those little chokers, you know, the, like, 2014 ones. Um, and I was wearing my overalls a lot. Like, I was just, like, looking cute. Um, but... Of course, that meant getting misgendered a lot, a lot. Like, I remember going into stores and people would be like, miss, or whatever, like, and I just, like, the feeling of being misgendered is just, like, so disgusting. Like, it just, I, I can't even compare it to anything. It's so bad. So, um, yeah, that kind of just stopped me from from experimenting for quite a long time because I was like, if I do anything, if I dye my hair, if I wear a necklace, like, someone's gonna call me she. So, here I'm looking pretty mask. Um, I'm also looking pretty young. <laughs> I was like 17 here, it's so sad, I look like 12. <laughs> oh, this was also a problem, like, I think I was trying to like grow up, but I looked so young, so it's like no one took me seriously as an adult person. Okay, next photo. Oh my god. The blonde hair. The blonde hair. I had... <laughs> so this is post that summer, so like early fall, I guess. And um, I'm underage smoking, for one. I don't know what that was about. Um, and I had bleached my full hair, and not very well, but <laughs> it was a big step for me. It was like reclaiming my hair. My hair is really important to me, as you can probably tell. So shaving it off was like a really big thing. Like, that changed who I was and how I saw myself a lot. So I'd regrown my hair at this point and bleached it. And I'm wearing here um, some very cute striped sunglasses. I still have those as well. A striped black and white top, which is kind of a signature look for me. And this necklace that I had made out of a bone <laughs> that I found on the beach. For some reason that summer, 
Um, we had found like a ton of bones on the beach, like really cool little animal bones, and I like bleached them and like coated them and stuff, and then made jewelry out of them. So that was my first like jewelry foray. Um, yeah, I'm looking pretty cute here. Um, still very young, but you know, maybe that's why I started smoking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next photo. I have the same kind of hair here that I have now in terms of dye, except I just dyed it blue, so you probably can't even see it in the video. But I had this white streak, which was really cute. And this was the beginning of my, like, athleisure phase. Um, I was really into, like, Adidas and Nike, and I've got some, like, sexy goth boots going on here. This was definitely, like, me starting to break out a little bit into, like, I'm gonna try to develop my own personal style. Um, unfortunately, my own personal style was kind of just the style of my friends, so I just kind of did, like, a discount version of what they were wearing. Um, yeah, also, like, I would wear a lot of clothes that were too big and just, like, didn't fit properly and, like, were clearly distressed. Okay, this next photo is me in, like, 2017-ish. I'm in a club. I was probably around 18 here. I know I don't look 18. I'm so surprised they let me into this club. Like, um, and I've got this furry scarf on that was really iconic for me at this time because it was again like one of the big fashion things that I had that really like I felt displayed my personal style. Um, I look kind of cute here, but I, I look like I didn't know that someone was taking the photo. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm such, I'm such a baby. I look so young. I was trying so hard to be grown up, too. But, you know, you can see, like, the scarf. I'm trying to, like, I'm dressing kind of like a club kid. Um, but, you know, breaking free from, like, the boring clothes that I would always wear. Um, okay. Now we have a really fun outfit. Okay, these pants... I don't know what happened to them, but they're great. I bought them on sale from this, like, Toronto designer, and they're bright pink with snakes on them, and they're just, like, they were really magical. I remember when I wore them, I was just like, I'm taking back my identity. Like, this is me. This is me. And I got so many compliments, but I only had the confidence to wear them, like, twice. Like, Spent like 70 bucks on them. This is a really cute outfit. I still have this L7 t-shirt. I like the green hair. It's it's good. I also have this little mini backpack I wore all the time. My nails are painted in this photo. That was probably a new thing. That might have been like the first time that I painted my nails. Um, okay. So, then after this, the dark years start. Um, or the darker years. The salt just a bad time. So, okay, this is a photo here where I look absolutely miserable. Um, I thought that this was like, I was trying to take like a cute portrait shot, um, but I just look so sad. And I had dyed my hair back to like a very neutral color. This isn't my natural color, it's a little bit lighter. Um, but, you know, I had this really short haircut. The only thing that I can see of myself kind of like expressing my fashion choices or whatever is the little earrings that I have. Um, but, like, just plain sweater. I dressed super plain. What happened here is I lost a couple of my really good friends. Like, just, we fell out and it was a really big thing and all of a sudden, like, I was alone and I didn't have really that many people to, like, go out with or, like, encourage me to, like, be more expressive, um, and I was just working at a restaurant job, I was so miserable, um, I just, like, I did not like the way I looked at all, and, and you can tell, like, I'm just, I'm not there. Um, the next photo here is me after work, um, I remember thinking that this, like, Banksy-ish, maybe it is a Banksy, I honestly don't even care, uh, art display was really funny because it was in the middle of this, like, luxury condo mall thing that the restaurant that I worked in was inside of, um, and so I got my friend to take a picture of me in front of it, and I also look sad. Like, this is, like, what I would wear every day. 
I always wore this sweater, black jeans, black shoes, like I was just, I just wanted to hide, like I didn't want anyone to see, like, I was having a lot of like body insecurity at that time too, so like you can really tell in all the photos, I'm kind of like, eh, don't look at me. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to, trying to cover up, hair still the same, actually I had a really bad haircut at this time, that's why I'm wearing my hood, I had like, <laughs> sometimes when I would get a haircut because I'd go to like the cheap barber shop because I'm really just, I don't like to pay for haircuts, they'd give me that like, um, <laughs> the like side shave and I just like, I look so bad with that, I, my head just looks so long, like I can't pull that off at all, so I'm definitely hiding it there. <laughs> Um, okay, then I go into an even darker phase, which I actually don't even have that many pictures of because I hated the way I looked so much, and this is like when I started working at the gym. Um, so here's one here, this was like the one cute photo that I could find. Um, where I was actually like wearing something nice, sort of, it's kind of open, uh, I got my earrings in, you know, I was like, I was feeling myself there, I had black hair, um, but at this time, yeah, I really just didn't take a lot of photos because I had just started working at the gym and it's weird because like my whole body image changed, I had gone from like thinking that I was like, I don't know, always like I felt big, like I had kind of like body dysmorphia that way and then all of a sudden I felt really small because I was at this gym and everyone was like these really big men and I felt like just this little like eh. So I was working really hard to like gain muscle and training a lot and I just never felt happy with my body like I was just like I felt in this weird in-between phase where I was like I don't feel small and like thin and lean but I don't feel big and strong um, and I felt like I had to be one of those and I was just at my like sort of natural set point but like a little bit over because I was like eating a ton of food to try to gain muscle but I don't think my body really ever wanted to gain that much muscle so it was just like I wasn't happy and also this is when I started having really big issues with my diet um, just like nothing to do with like body image or whatever like restriction but I was uh, vegan for like many years and throughout probably all these photos and this is about when it started hitting me and like I started to feel kind of sick. I, I had a whole bunch, I won't go into my health issues in this video, but basically I found out this year that I'm like intolerant to so many foods and those were the foods that were like the main staples of my vegan diet. So it was nothing to do with being vegan necessarily, but it was that all the foods that I was eating, like wheat, legumes, uh, soy, all those things are terrible for me. So I was physically feeling really, really bad. And you can, you can tell for sure. Um, here's my next one. Um, so this one, I am wearing my little athleisure. I wore like Adidas a lot. Um, just like active wear all the time because my schedule was so crazy and I was just at the gym all the time. So I just wore gym clothes basically. Um, I look kind of cute in this photo. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's, that's what I look like, and it's weird, uh, I look like a little boy playing soccer, like, <laughs> and this was when I was like 20, 21, I don't look 21, I mean I still don't look 22, but, am I 22, am I 23, no I'm 22, <laughs> oh, this would have been when I was just turning 21, okay, next photo, this was a date, and this was like the first time I'd gone on a date in like a year, basically. Um, I had gotten out of a relationship that was like intense, and I just was not into dating, like I just didn't want to. So this was the first time I tried to get dressed up and go out. I didn't really get dressed up, this was like the best I could do. <laughs> I didn't have any nice clothes, like all I had was gym clothes. I've kind of forgot how to wear normal person clothes. 
Um, but I did get this little necklace, and this necklace, I feel like, sparked a lot of change. Because <laughs> um, I was like, I'm just gonna start, you know, wearing what I want to wear. Like, this was like my first kind of like, okay, I need to start being myself. And then, this, my friends, this photo was taken in March 2020. This was just before lockdown hit, like maybe two weeks. And then the great shutdown began. For the first time in years, really, I was not dressing for work. Like I had been dressing for the gym for years. I've been dressing for catering. I've been dressing for uh, working at the restaurant. And now I had free reign and I had time, but nowhere to go. <laughs> so, I started taking thirst traps, <laughs> like a lot of thirst traps. This was like someone who had not taken a photo of themselves in like months. Short hair here, you know, you can tell I still got my gym body going on a little bit, which has obviously changed a lot since lockdown. This was like, I had pretty much achieved where I wanted to be with my fitness level like right before lockdown and then it just... I basically, I, I still work out to be healthy, but like I just stopped trying in terms of body goals because I know like I'm a trainer, I know that like you can't really change your body without weights, like unless you're just losing weight, like you can't really like reshape your body without actually using like gym weights, so I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna let my body be natural. Um, and I thought to myself, I wanna have nice things to wear when things reopen <laughs> in a month or so. Anyway, <laughs> that brings us to the next photo. Here we had me looking really happy in my God Save the Queen shirt that I bought when I was in grade 8 and held on to. Cut the sleeves off because the gains, you know. Um, <laughs> it fits everywhere except the shoulders. Um, it's the only part of me that grew, I guess. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm looking happy here, a little sunburnt, because I was, like, out on the roof, and I just started really enjoying my life at this point. I started doing art again, and I started, like, really experimenting with my fashion. Not in this photo, obviously, but, you know. Um, okay, and then, next photo. Okay, the hair starts to grow. This was big. I haven't had long hair since, like, before I came out. Like, um, this in this photo was the longest I've ever had it. And I've always kind of wanted to have long hair. But I knew, like, oh my god, I'm not going to pass if I have long hair. People are just going to think I'm a girl. Um, and then I was like, you know what? I have an excuse to grow up my hair now. I can't get a haircut. So I started growing it out. I did a little middle part. I was like, wow, this is like, I'm embracing my, my weird side. <laughs> it seems crazy now. Like it's such a small thing, but I, I was like, I was really happy with it. Um, I also got this shirt, which was one of the first like things I ordered for myself. Um, and the necklace is here. Yes, it's very cute. I should get that necklace out again. It's a good necklace. Okay. Next photo. Okay, this was one of the first times that I like actually did a shoot with myself where I properly like put a background, dressed up, had a crop, and I'm starting to wear like cool things like this scarf which I bought on at a thrift store when they were still there was a brief brief beautiful moment in time where we could go to thrift stores this summer um, and I found this in a bin and I was like I'm gonna start recreating like really like fashion spread photos that I've been admiring for so long so this is a good one obviously it's not like top-notch but you know it's my first try um, 
Then we have another photo here from this summer. Maybe my Aperol Spritz. Oh, I'm wearing the same shirt that I'm wearing right now. How embarrassing. Um, but yeah, here you can see, like, I've got my little earrings going on. My hair is longer. I'm just really starting to feel, like, more comfortable with these little, little things. Let's see, what's our next? Okay, here's another photo. So, this was a good one. I love these pants so much. These pants are, like, super important to me. I ordered them off Depop, and they just, like, it was a risk, but they fit perfectly. Um, yeah, so I started wearing a lot of, like, little tank tops. I've got a little purse here. Uh, putting the bandana on. I've got pretty long hair in this photo, though you can't really see it. And yeah, I was just starting to really feel myself and I was like, oh my god, I don't care how people perceive me, like the world is ending. I don't have to like present myself a certain way for my job and like sell myself as a trainer, a sporty person. I can just wear whatever I want. And that was like such a big like, whoa. Um, Okay, and then our next photo here is when things start to get really cute. So I got this lacy shirt, um, my hair's looking long, and this was like such a good look. I'm also wearing my mom's old pants here from the 80s, they're like sailor pants and they're so cute. Um, I just started feeling so much more comfortable wearing things, like I never ever would have worn this outfit like a year ago, it would have been like... I'd be terrified to go out because I'd think that I would get misgendered or something. Like, I understand that all of this is coming from a place of, like, a lot of, a lot of privilege because I've been on testosterone for, like, <laughs> how many years? I don't even know. <laughs> Since 2016. How many? <laughs> Five years. And I've had top surgery and I'm very, like, comfortable in my body right now. Also, I have, like, you know, thin, privileged, conventionally attractive, which just basically means marketably attractive looks, you know, it, it's, it's easier for me than it is for a lot of people, but still this is just like my personal journey, um, and for me this was really, really, really hard, like the fear of being misgendered was so ingrained in me, and just like, of feeling too femme and whatever, like it's just, it's so stupid, like, when I think about it, when I say it out loud, I'm like, I can't believe that I held myself back for so long. Um, but I did, and it's okay, because I'm here now. Alright, next photo. Again, hair's getting really long. I'm wearing this really cute necklace that I think my aunt gave me this when I was like, and eight or nine, um, but it's a nice little vintage heart. I've got a sparkly tank top on and leather pants. Another thrift shop uh, extravaganza gone well. Um, yeah, and I started setting up little photo studios and getting really like adept at my camera and just like appreciating myself. I, I love these photos. And then, last one we've got here, this is going to be the most recent one I show you. The way I'm posing here is like a lot more like feminine than my other photos and I really like that. I've just like, I've started to get a lot more comfortable with like posing in ways that aren't just like... <laughs> um, and just really like feeling happy about myself and just... Yeah, it's... I don't know, I, I'm taking these kind of like more provocative pictures or whatever, like, it's been a really important part of becoming who I am and I think no one should ever talk bad about, like, you know, taking cute photos of yourself and sexy photos of yourself because it really, like, when I look at these, I'm like, yeah, I, like, I love the way that I look and the way that I've, like, curated my aesthetic and done my hair and dressed myself and set up the photo, like, it, it means a lot, and for someone who's struggled for so long with, like, my body and my, like, fashion choices and everything, it's just, like, it's so nice to finally feel good about myself and just stop caring what other people think. Um, I don't even know if I have, like, specific steps on how to do this because, like, 
I wanted to make a video that was like how I stopped caring and like these are my steps but like I don't think that I have a formula here. It's been such a long journey and there's been like, I had that little like rise of like when I started wearing things that I really liked and then it just dipped back down when I started to feel insecure about myself again and like when things went wrong in my life. Um, but I would say just like keep dressing up, <laughs> keep feeling cute. Like as soon as you start not caring and start like just wearing what's comfortable and what's like hiding you it's like you start to accept it you start to accept yourself as a person who wears those things and who presents themselves that way and it's okay like if that's not a goal of yours but I think if you clicked on this video it probably is um, to feel more like self-confident and be able to wear whatever you want just like do it even in your own home like put on everything put on your shoes put on your jacket walk around take photos it's good, like, it's all really good for your personal style development and your, like, your, your self-image and how you think of yourself. I'm gonna end this video here because I feel like I've said enough. I probably need to chop this down a lot because I feel like I just talked for a long time. Anyway, that is a very abridged journey of my gender expression and my personal style. So hit the like and subscribe, I'm going to be posting more videos soon, I'm going to do a video on creativity and then I think I'm also going to do a video of like trying on all the things that I've made so far. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that, hit the subscribe, the like, the comment, leave a comment, and <laughs> I'll see you next time.